So welcome back to the channel fam. Hi, I'm Lita and I read cards. Okay, so Lita ran into some problems, alright? My phone that I record with, the screen is got uh not to loose, you know, from the adhesive and I mean like the legitimate screen is sliding back and forth like this. So I had to go and get another phone. Unfortunately I didn't have eight hundred to nine hundred dollars to slap on a great Android phone the way that I normally do. So I had to get a mid range phone instead of a flagship phone and this is my first time recording with it i'm hoping that it looks good you know i did um, my research on the specs concerning cameras no i don't buy by name i don't buy by what's popular i buy by what does what i needed to do and supposedly the cameras on this is supposed to be great okay um and it has a lot of processing speed so hopefully i can get these edited for you but i'm here i'm back and let's get into it today's topic is going to be what does your partner think of your family um this is a topic that was suggested by my youngest daughter i often ask her for uh topics She's really good at picking out topics. She's like, you know, everyone is always asking, how does their family feel about you? Well, how do they feel about your family? You got a great point, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. How does your person feel about your family? I'm going to use a couple of different decks, okay? Um, the first thing I want to do is roll the story dice to get an a general idea of what they think about your family. We will be using the Tea Leaf Oracle, okay? Um, the Luna Soul deck from, um, Liminal 11. Y'all know Liminal 11 is my favorite deck company currently. I have not bought a new deck maybe in like four months, guys. Congratulate me because that is a huge addiction of mine that I have been fighting because the economy is not that great. And I just don't want to be spending my money on decks when I have a hundred already okay so and the last deck we'll be using is the under the roses lenormand okay um i think i'm actually going to set out the groups on a speed this part up so you guys aren't stuck watching me i'll figure out something to play in the background since youtube is so shitty about the music maybe i can ask my uh future son-in-law for one of his tracks actually i think i am going to ask him can i have permission to use one of his tracks in the background i don't know something but let's get it on i'll meet you guys once i've laid them out and you can pick your group okay fam so here's the issue i have the new phone i did not move the files over to the new phone so um i don't have my normal intro I don't have my place card holders I don't have my music files I don't have anything so you're stuck listening to me but that's gonna work anyways something I want to say real quick and I will also post it over top of group four group four your reading is really out of pocket and I actually did a second reading that I will be publishing separately just for you guys so make sure that you look for it i should be uploading them at the same time and if not it will only be an hour to two hours right behind it all right and um also guys i think i'm gonna work on um a new intro so i hope you guys like that well i'm almost done with the shuffling so let's get into it all right fam all right so we done so we have group one group two group three and group four while you are are choosing um i would just like to say i want to thank everyone that has subscribed to the channel thus far you guys are the goats if you find yourself watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel as of yet i ask the same question every video fam why the fuck not it's free it's fun and we're getting facts i am going to take a sip Y'all know what it is. Somebody actually asked me, why am I always drinking water while I'm reading? Water is a good conductor of emotions, thoughts, energy. 
Okay. Um, so you should stay hydrated when you're trying to uh divine. Um stay hydrated before you go to bed. Keep some water beside your bed in the glass. It helps to move um the messages in a more clear way. It's actually it creates a gateway, a portal. And yeah, that's what I'm doing to my body, preparing it to be a portal. Um, I am going to take a moment today and say happy Woden's Day. It is Wednesday, okay? So, um, today's reading is going to be, um, dedicated to Odin. As you all see, I normally, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm going to zoom in so you can see. I usually keep, um, three, uh, coins from the Bahamas on my candle here on my lotus flower um i lost one of them as i was dealing and it just totally slipped away um i'm assuming that's going assuming that's going to be payment for odin because he likes coins if he wants it he can have it and that's that's the best i can tell you on that one and hey let's get into the reading all right so i'm gonna put these to the side there's group four group three two and let's get started with group number one so group number one i'm going to try to read this as a whole instead of like slowly reading each card like i do sometimes because we're just trying to get a feel for how does your person feel about your family all right let's start off with the dice okay so what they truly feel about your family is a secret, okay? This is something that they are keeping under wraps, all right? I have two, sh two ships, so I'm going to put this with this. I have two ships. Hmm. I'm assuming that maybe your family is from someplace else. Either your family is from someplace else or y'all came into some sort of windfall of money is what this person thinks of you guys. Um and I and I believe it's at the um like the money came after someone passed away a female in the family passed away um what they really think about your family is that your family is super overprotective of you um and they feel like your family does not like them because they do not have money all right um and they feel like your family is trying to keep you away from them even though the two of you have shared love for each other for a very long time. They kind of, they look at you as their soulmate, either that or you're like their childhood sweetheart, high school sweetheart, something like that. Okay. Um, they do think that your family loves you. You know, as a positive note, they feel like your family really loves you, but on a negative note, which they're keeping to themselves is, is that they think like your family is like a group of attack dogs, especially um, a woman that is at the head of the family. I'm assuming she is either a Virgo or an Aquarius. Okay. She could be a Gemini or a Libra, but the two signs that I'm getting um, the strongest is, is going to be Virgo or Aquarius. Okay. This, this woman's tongue is sharp. Okay. Her bark. Her bark is pretty damn bad. They kind of just feel like they don't have a, a chance. They don't really have a chance with you because of the family. You know, with this barrel and the two ships, like, I even feel like they have this feeling of if your family could just put them in a barrel and ship them down the river, they would. They would. They think that your family does not like them. Okay. Um, so group one, your person's thoughts about your family really revolves around your family's thoughts of them. Okay. Now, what I'm going to say about that is your person is either insecure or self-centered or both. Okay. Um, because 
I'm over here asking what do they think about your family and they're telling me what your family thinks about them. And this might be something that bugs you about them. This may be something that bugs your family about them, okay? Like, and I just keep hearing this. I just keep hearing that that man, and, and if it's a woman, just change it to a woman. But in particular, I can hear someone saying that man don't have a pot to piss in. They really do not like that. And it really hurts your person's feelings. But what I can tell, though, is that um, your person is faithful to you. I know you didn't come here to hear that, but I can see it. But I don't think they're too fond of your family. I think the only thing they like about your family is that your family loves you. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's really, you know, because sometimes your family will say that about the person that you like, you know, to say, I don't really care for them too much, but I'm not the one that's in a relationship with them. And I can tell that they really love you. Yeah. Your person feels the same way about your family. You know, they don't particularly care for your family too much, but the fact that your family loves you so much makes it okay with them. All right. So that's what uh, your person thinks of your family group. One, if you enjoy this reading, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below good and or bad. And let's move right on into group two. I'm drink two. Because, honey, I am thirsty today. Oh, let's go on and roll the dice first. How does group two's person feel about their family? Okay. It's sunny. They like your family. Oh, yeah, they really like your family. Oh, really like them. Uh -huh. Wait till I tell you this part, though. <laughs> yeah, these cards support it. Okay, let me let me just. Okay. Now, don't take this the wrong way. All right, because I know how some of you are. I know how uh, children can be sometimes, and you all are somebody's child. And let's just get into it. Um, one thing, okay, now I'm going to tell you initially what I heard. All right. I'm just going to keep it real with you. There's an older woman in your family. I don't know if it's your mother, your grandmother, whatever, but they think she is fine. Okay. They think she is a hot old lady. All right. And they really like her. Okay. They also think that, um, your family is approving of the relationship between the two of you. They also think that, um, your family line has something to do with pulling you all together. They feel like there is a connection between your line and their line. And I'm inclined to agree with them. Um, there's a lack of time in this connection. Okay. So they believe that you all have been intertwined with each other time and time and time again. They feel like your family is really smart, really mystical, um, possibly religious, religious or spiritual, um, very family oriented, loyal, friendly, happy, beautiful. They think that your family is attractive, okay? And in particular, I told you, the older woman, all right? Um, and I think that this is a feminine, heavy family. Maybe there are a lot of women uh, in this family. I also feel like they look at you all as a good luck charm. Your family is a good luck charm since uh, they've been in your life um, along with your family. Things just happen for them that's really good uh they they think that your family possesses luck they also th like i said i already said that they feel like your family is spiritual in some way shape or form um prosperous you know may maybe y'all are living a comfortable life a very comfortable life do i see anything else in here do i see anything else in here You know, I'm going to say this. They feel like the women in your line are more along the lines of goddesses. Okay. They feel like the women in your family have direct connections to higher beings, divine beings, um, deities, um, Malachim or, um, angels, messengers, um, I 
I really don't see anything else. I mean, like this group is just really nice and sunny. I don't know if I showed you guys, but when I did the dice, I got the sunflower. So I already knew that the mood was very cheery. And I got the sun over here. So sun and sunflower on the tree going with the plant. And, you know, basically they love your family. Um, they feel like they fit right in. They feel like um, in serving you that they are serving the most high. And they feel like um, it's just what they're supposed to do. And they want the approval. They want the approval of your family. And I believe that they have it. I'm inclined to believe that they have it. I'm inclined to believe that um, some older woman in your family has fostered this relationship, has shown you how to tame this lion. Um, possibly your, your partner is a Leo. I don't really see anything else besides Leo. You know, they could be anything, but for, for a large portion of you, your partner's a Leo. And your family is carrying Leo energy, and so they go together. Okay, so uh, group number two, your partner adores your family. And that's basically all I can say. They think that you all are beautiful. They think that you all are friendly. They think that you all um, are loyal, smart, um, you know, wealthy, prosperous, connected to the heavens they just are really standing your family okay so i hope you enjoyed this reading group too if you did please leave me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad and let's move right on into group number three i i got a little something um stuck in my house recently i don't know what it is and so i i am ringing the bell in between each uh group to clear the energy because so i really do have something in here y'all and it's been a long time since i had something stuck in the house and i i haven't quite figured out how to get rid of it yet okay this is another secret group whatever it is that they think about your family you don't know or they're trying to keep it secret we have the nine of cups we have the knight of cups we had the five of swords. I don't like this group already. I don't like what your person is thinking about the family. And I'm just going to keep it real with you. House, mice, clock tower, bird flying, unicorn, and butterfly. I'm going to be real with you. Your person definitely has eyes for other people in your family. Okay? Like, they are legitimately flirting with your family. Like, they just feel like this family is um rich. I kind of feel like they want to steal from y'all. In short, they think that your family is to come up. If they can't get it through you, they, they'll get it through someone else in your family. They definitely feel like, like they are really attracted to multiple people in your family. And they don't care. They don't care if when the secret gets out, they don't care. They don't care if it causes all types of havoc. They just want what they want, okay? You see the mice here and the five of swords. I don't know if you can see them, but here's your five of swords. You see all the chaos and one person is standing winning, but does anybody win in the middle of all that? No, mm -mm, it's just too much chaos. We have the mice. You know what mice are about, loss and damage. Now, when we look down here... Okay, for one thing, I'm giving you the uh, message, but they know that someone else is going to tell. There is something going on with someone else in the family, and you're going to hear about it. All right, and they are thinking that they are heavily thinking that, but they are, they are, listen. This person that you're with is magical themselves, okay? And they are using what they have to be able to use this family to change themselves for the better, okay? They are using their intuition to figure out who it is that they need to uh, place as their target, and they are going to pollinate however if you think about a butterfly a butterfly does not only land on one flower okay a butterfly hops on whatever flower they feel like whichever one they think is the sweetest and listen your partner just thinks that it's just a field of flowers <laughs> okay and so much to be had so what does your person think about your family they think that your family is an opportunity your person is an opportunist 
I'm just going to leave it at that because I know that that's a heavy piece of information to hear about somebody if you haven't already picked it up for yourself. Because if this is really your group and you will know if it is not your group because you will be like, ain't no way in hell, boy. Ain't no fucking way, boy. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm telling you and, and you immediately start thinking about the one time when he was looking at so-and-so too hard or... He was touching or she was touching so-and-so a little bit too much or laughing too much at their jokes or something like that. You'll know that it's the truth, okay? Your person's an opportunist and they look at your family as an opportunity. And that's all I have to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading group three. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. And let's move right into our final group, which is group number four. Group number four was kind of heavy. I need to have me a drink before I get started. Yes, I gulp ice water. And it's delicious. All right, so group four. What does your person think about your family? No. Okay, so we had two sunflowers and we had two locks, okay? So some of you may have picked a couple of groups. Maybe you needed a little more information. Let's find out. We have the two of pentacles. We have the three of pentacles. And we have the four of swords. They think your family is very laid back. Very balanced. Um, open minded. Um, able to see both sides of things. We have child. We have cloud. And we have the lady. We have fly, we have tent, and we have victory. Okay. Um, they feel like your family has definitely seen some hardships, um, possibly over a child. Maybe the loss of a child. Maybe there was a loss of a child. Um, I don't, Maybe the mother lost a child. Maybe um, you lost a child if you're a male. Um, maybe... Well, if your person is a woman, maybe they lost a child and this just crept its way into the reading. I feel like they feel like, hold on, I feel that they're looking at your family as being extremely peaceful. Let's see if I can do this. I should have did this for all the groups so y'all can see a little better. I hope the other groups don't see this and be like, why should I do that for our group? your family is very peaceful but they know that your family will kick somebody's ass like y'all will cut them there was definitely a death in this family there's definitely a, a recent death um and i know it's somewhat recent because the situation is a tent is temporary temporary um housing maybe maybe at, maybe someone has to stay in a shelter um or had to stay in a shelter for a short period of time that's not necessary but for some of you it definitely is but um there's just something that just really turned your family upside down for a while but they also see that your family was able to come back out of it victorious okay so they definitely think that your family is a family of fighters okay like you all will fight to keep your family together you you will fight to work together you know you will fight to see the project finished Most of your family has a great sense of humor or someone in particular in your family is really fun, really fun to play with. Um, maybe they play uh, cards or video games or board games with your family and they really enjoy that. Somebody is very playful in your family. Some, there's someone in your family that they really, really get along with. Um... Look at this. There's a fucking fly. Fucking house fly. And we have a fly here. Be careful. Group four. Be careful. Because I see that you all are going through. Or your family has recently just got over. Like some real traumatic experiences. But somebody is really wishing ill on your family. 
you and your family. Some raggedy, pathetic, piece of shit ass person wishing ill health on your family. Fuck them. Return that shit back to them. Return it to them. Alright? I need y'all to do that. Yeah. All you need to do is figure out how to do a return to sender and do that shit. And, and if you've been seeing flies too, kill one of them motherfuckers and put it in your return to sender. Because I don't like raggedy bitches that wish ill on your family. If you don't like me, then you don't like me. But don't wish ill on my family. Okay? And if I let you get away with wishing ill on my family, don't ever think I let you get away, bitch. Because I will fuck you up. And you know who I'm talking to. I know you're watching this shit, you raggedy bitch. All right. That's what I want y'all to tell them when you do your um return to sender too. Because they watching you. They're constantly watching you. Okay. They're all in your mental field. They so tuned into you. They hearing your thoughts. Dreaming about you and shit. Now let's get back to the reading. But your person. Your person just finds you all to be pleasant. Your pleasure. Your joy. They love being around you guys. Okay. And they want to help. They want to help your family either reach a victory, reach a victorious place, or you've already gotten there and they want to see you all stay there because they they really just like you guys. They really just enjoy being around you. Um, it's like, I'm not seeing like heavy romance or anything like that, but that's just only part of a solid relationship. What I see here is a solid friendship. Okay. And, and not just a friendship between you and your person, but a friendship between your person and your family members. This person is very genuine and they genuinely like you all. Okay. And they genuinely want the best for you all. So that's what your person thinks about your family group for. And like I said, y'all remember. Fuck the haters. And make sure the haters know you said fuck them. Alright. So I hope you enjoyed this reading group 4. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below. Good and or bad. And that's going to conclude today's reading. I hope everyone enjoyed this reading. I will see you all soon. I have to kill this fucking fly too, y'all. Damn, I missed him. Son of a bitch. Y'all see me? Y'all y'all can't see. But guess what? I got that fucker. And I'm going to catch get get the little body and then fail in my roses. And y'all do the same. Okay? I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video.